Okay, excellent. So, um, I'm Adam Kleiner, uh, VP of AppDev from Intellipeer. This is our second year doing this. We had a really great time last year and uh, was amazed to see all the all the creations that came out of out of this. So what I want to do, just real briefly go through this slide and show the registration process. And then I'm actually going to go into smart flows and just, you know, give a little show and tell of, of how to move, maneuver in there and, and get the best out of your experience uh, for the hackathon. So on October 9th, we're, this, this link's going to become live. We're also going to send out a token for you guys to, pl to plug in. Um, you'll get that token. You'll plug it in. You'll fill in the rest of your credentials. You'll um, get a verification. So you'll get an SMS or something. You plug it in and verify, and you're off to the races. You automatically get assigned a phone number, um, and you can just start building. Uh, so with that, what I'm going to do is show you what you're going to build. Um, this is our smart flows system. It's, um, you know, CPASS. It uh, does a lot, but this is your landing page. Um, so this will be your list of flows that you've created. Um, you have an audio library, so if you've got um, any kind of audio files that you might want to be using in your flows, you can load them in here, and then they'll be accessible to you inside. Uh, this is where you'll assign your number. Uh, it's real simple. So if this was your number here, you'd select it, you sign a flow, um, and you can choose if you're going to assign it to, is it going to be a call type or an SMS? Okay. Um, from there, this, is, this will actually be something that's really useful to you. These are a list of uh, templates that we've created, basically different use cases. Um, you know, so we have uh, inbound API templates, we have a WhatsApp template. Um, it's, it's a good, good place to click on and just kind of get a, get a little once over of what's going on in here. Okay. Um, if you don't want to do that and you feel real comfortable, you can just start a flow from scratch. From the left side here, you have all your um, different actions that you can do. Now, every flow is going to need a trigger. So it's got to start with something. Basically, we're telling the flow, this is how you're starting. Um, real typical one, we do an inbound call. Uh, maybe we want to play an audio. Here's where we can actually configure that audio. So remember, I was talking about that that audio library. These are all the the things that are available to you. Um, you can then do things like transfer out. Maybe you want to um, send an SMS off of these things. Um, each one of these pins corresponds to an action. So when you want something to happen after one of these actions, it's as simple as connecting which pin you want and what you want to do later. That makes sense. And then from there, so here we have all these different actions. I will tell you, um, just because of the length of time for the hackathon, um, WhatsApp probably won't be available because it just usually, it normally takes at least two weeks to go through the WhatsApp process to get a number available for business. So unfortunately, WhatsApp won't be available for this half. Um, if you like what you see, maybe you'll come back and, and try it out later. So you have all your different voice actions. Um, we've got messaging, so you've got your SMS, again, WhatsApp, some Facebook. Here's your actual flow logics. So you can do switches. You can actually modularize your flows. So you, instead of having one giant flow, you could actually create a bunch of little ones and then reuse those modules across other flows. 
Um, we've got call recording, so we can actually capture conversation. And then we start getting into some of our, we have Watson Assistant and we integrate with Lex. And then we also have natural language processing. So we can do speech rec, tonality, and all that sort of thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip for, for me personally. The two biggest things I think that are gonna be the best weapons in your tool belt are this external web call and the inbound API trigger. Basically with the inbound API trigger, any other system that you might be playing with that can call an API can call your flow. And likewise, if you have any other systems that can be hit by an API, you're gonna use external web call and you know the world's your oyster at that point. So with that, I'm gonna jump back to the slide real quick, show you some of these. Um, these are some of our resources. They'll be available to you guys. Um, I know Cora Nelson and I pretty much live on that Slack channel. We had a really good time last year. Um, and um, that's all I got. I don't know if Nelson or Corey does not have anything. I know I probably talk real fast, but um, it's morning, so. No, I think, I think you did awesome. Um, for all you hackers out there, this right here will be a, a great page to save um, because it'll have a lot of your links. If uh, it takes you to our page, uh, our, our website, that has a lot of the use cases and demos and explains and has a, a, a lot of good info for you to kind of get you started. In addition to, please don't be shy to use our Slack. Um, we are, um, we, Alan has posted our Slack link. Um, go ahead, uh, go on there, ask us questions, tell us what you're building. We are just, we have so much fun doing this and uh, we can't wait to see what you come up with this year. Thank you.